I want to talk about the, my Brunies and Connie Mayer. And last time I harvest one from here, you can see the cutting here. There was um, harvest 45 days after pollination and the brick bricks test was a little disappointing. Uh, it should be around 20, but actually I want to get 15. So after that, I did some research and asked some um, experts. Uh, it seems like uh, yeah, there could be two reasons for that. One of them is um, the plant is a little young because this is the first year they produce fruit. So they says maybe the second year and third year will be much better. And also the second reason could be I pick too early. So when I pick the fruits, uh, almost the same color as this one. This one doesn't really change color. And this one, when I pick it, it's 45 days. But you can see that uh, some of them are changed color much more. And I found a video from Spicy Exotics. And their Burundi and Connie Mayers are much more intense color. It's almost completely orange yellow for the whole fruit. And this is come from spicy exotics. So I think they should be harvested around that time. So that one was really too early. So this, um, some of these are almost 60 days since pollination. So I'm going to start to harvest them on 60s. 63 days, 66 days, and 70 days to see uh, it make any difference on the sweetness of this uh, Bruni and Carly Mayer. And also I want to talk about this one. See this guy? Compared to the regular, the normal um, size of the Bruni. And this one is only about half the size. It's very small, and this is not just happened here, and happened to my um, delight, and my condor, and even my um, Agus baby. Um, I had no reason why some of them are getting so small. I call it the tiny little fruit syndrome. And uh, one thing for sure, this tiny little fruit is not because of pollination and not because what the pollen was used for to pollinate this one because you can see this one's pollinate on June 21st and same as here this one is June 21st and this one's twice as big as that one and also this one is also pollinate on June 21st and also one on the back. So all these four of them pollinate on the same night with the same pollen. Uh, I have record on all the pollen I have been using. So on June 21st, I pollinate this one with the mixed pollen of uh, Eka's Baby and Delight, fresh. So this small fruit is not because the pollen used. And um, this guy is actually the first fruiting on this um, con um, Bruni and Connemayer. And this one's uh, pollinated by a frozen pollen from American Baby that was stored in the freezer for 42 days. And it set fruit and the fruit has no problem. No, not small fruit, it's a regular size. So the, what pollen used is not the one decide it become a small baby fruit or regular size fruit. So I just want to clarify that. And also I want to talk about uh, this one. This is my um, neon. Neon is supposed to be a self uh, fertile type. And you can see, uh, I don't know. So this, this one is pollinate, it is cross-pollinated. And this one, and the one that's uh, already lost here, 
is um, pollinated by itself. Okay. So um, this is the the one that fall off from from here. That was a self pollinated, and they didn't stick at all. So even the self fertile variety, if you just do a self pollination, then they may not work. They may or may not work. So this is a cross pollinated. This is self pollinated that stayed, and this is self pollinated that's a fall off, that doesn't stick. It's the same as my delight. I test two of the self pollination, two flowers, one set fruit, one did not. So even the self um, fertile, fertile varieties, just self pollination is not really reliable. So whenever it's possible, do a cross pollination. It's more reliable, give you better fruit and um, more secure. Uh, that's it.